Hello, everyone, again. If you're eating, continue eating. Um, we, uh, we've got a long program today, and I kind of felt like if we could get started a little earlier, uh, we'd get through the group because it, we want to make uh, recognition of everybody that's here today to be honored. <clears throat> Let's see if I could get Carter to drop the music. It would be good. Here we go. There's Tom. There we go. Thanks, Tom. Okay, uh, um, it's my pleasure to be able to introduce our guest speaker here. Uh, in just a second, uh, a little bit about Bob Ross. Bob is a current serving member of the Board of Directors of St. Clair of Wisconsin Incorporated. But I met Bob um, well over a decade ago as a volunteer at St. Coletta. At the time, he was part of a group that would provide volunteer activities at a house where most commonly it was landscaping related stuff, general cleaning and stuff like that. We did not serve a member of his family here. He simply had a friend that did have a family member served here, but he wanted to kind of give back. Bob did have a brother with a disability. Uh, his name was George. And somewhere around St. Coletta, you're going to find a Dodge four-wheel drive truck that says George Ross on it. And it's because Bob donated it and uh, today it sprays the, or it's used to spray the garden and the apple trees. Uh, so it's still getting good use. Bob, you probably didn't know that. Still here, still running. But a little bit more about Bob. Bob recently retired, but before he did that, he worked for the Forestry Service, the Federal Forestry Service in Madison. And if you've ever wondered if there is a, a need for a professional identification of a tree or a plant form or something like that, especially in a trial or, or so on, DNA, that's who does it. Um, they're experts at identifying species of certain things, and probably they came to fame first in the Charles Lindbergh kidnapping case, where the, uh, the species and the origin of the the tree that produced the ladder to abduct the child was identified and used in a trial for the first time. Um, but Bob was involved more recently in the identification of a necessary uh, piece of lumber or a, a source of it to repair damage to the National Archives. Was it the, the Capitol building at the, after the riots? So Bob's the one that sourced that, helped find that, and uh, so today we enjoy the same sort of beauty of that original um, architecture of the building and things. Since, since and well, immediately before and, and after Bob's retirement, he became involved in a special way here at St. Coletta called Fishing with Bob. And Bob takes clients out fishing, and lots of them, 
and has a great time doing it. He's got to be the first board member who have ever done anything like that. Um, but uh, it's a direct kind of benefit for the person served here at St. Coletta. I don't want to talk any more about that because Bob's probably going to. So we're going to let him do that. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Ross. First of all, thank you for inviting me to talk. And thank you for Ted and Mario for letting me be a part of St. Coletta's. A little background on myself. I grew up in Michigan. And I heard about St. Coletta when I was a little kid, probably about this tall. I had a brother who had a disability, and my mom was adamant that St. Coletta's was the best place in the world for him to be. And uh, as a little kid, I looked at the globe in one of our rooms, and I said, holy mackerel, there's a big lake between Wisconsin and Michigan. I'll never see him again. I shared a bedroom with him. I was pretty upset. Well, for a bunch of reasons, it never happened. Um, and uh, fast forward, we all went to college, grew up and went away. I moved back to Wisconsin and uh, my brother passed, George, and I wanted to do something for him. So I called up St. Coletta's, I called up Ted and I called up Mario, and I said, I'd like to fish. George didn't, I did. Um, but I said, I'd like to see if we can do something. And they were so gracious and said, you bet. So what we've done in the last couple of years is once a month, starting next week, but starting April through September, October, we take a group out um, to a little uh, fishing um, fish hatchery right over here in Palmyra, and we fish for the morning. And we just have a great time. I tell you, it's the biggest blessing to me in my life to see the happiness in those people's eyes, and it's incredible. Um, just to give you some idea, we did it six times last year. Had to cancel one because of uh, the air quality was so bad from Canada. <laughs> uh, we couldn't breathe, so we had to cancel that. But anyway, we go out there and we catch a lot of fish. Uh, just to give you an idea, last year, I ran the numbers just last night. Uh, we got about 110 pounds of beautiful rainbow trout on those trips. And I think the coolest thing was Amy, uh, Mario, one of Mario's staff, came up to me at the end of the season and she says, Bob, we got the freezers are full. Can you take some? And I said, I can't. I got, I, got, I got enough junk in my own freezer. And I said, I never thought that that program would result in too many fish. But it's, it's a wonderful gift to me as a person because as my mom said years ago, Coletta believes in the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. It's the whole gig. And so I get the chance to help out with a little bit of the part of that gig. And it's just, I just love it. So thanks for the opportunity. If you want to go fishing, we're starting next Tuesday over at Palmyra. It's a really cool little place. It's uh, uh, one of the most active fish hatcheries in the state. If you've had a fish fry here, you probably had fish in that place. Uh, beautiful area. They've got a fully handicap accessible dock. And uh, we go out there, they have everything, and we just catch fish for a couple hours, sit down and have lunch, have them fillet it, and we go out and get ready for next month. Um, just a quick thing, because I could ramble on forever on all this stuff. But um, it's picked up some steam because now we're not only doing it for St. Coletta. I was asked by the Arc Dane County to do it in the Dane County area. And just last month, we got a grant from the Green Bay Packer Foundation to do the one in Dane County. So I've got another six of them planned there. And that's where we got the t-shirts. You know, somebody made that, I didn't make that. But, but anyway, I wanted to tell you guys thank you. And thanks for your support. And thanks for letting me be a part of it because it's the most wonderful experience in the world. Thanks much. Thank you, Bob. We're, uh, we're going to get on with the uh, program. We have a lot of folks to recognize here. Uh, but before we, we start off, 
as mentioned in the introduction, we're, we're honoring about 815 years of service to uh, the individuals uh, that are served here at St. Coletta in this particular five-year anniversary. Uh, so we're going to start with the five years. We're going to go all the way up to 75 years. And not to spoil any of this, what I would like to just share is the folks that provide this care day to day, the caregivers, and there are many here, um, are, the, are the real kind of front end of what St. Coletta does. They provide the care every day. You think about every day for 815 years, a lot of staff. And it's staff that are committed to the people we serve in a way that goes way beyond just being an employee. They want to be part of their lives. They are part of their, their lives. And so I'd like to, uh, a round of applause for our caregivers, both here and not here. Um, one thing I would offer here at the very beginning, I'd like you to think about maybe on the way home or some other time, uh, is this. Somewhere among us, among the group being honored for five years, is somebody that likely will be honored for 75 years, 70 years from now. And most of us won't be here or in this room. But somebody will have cared for them throughout time, and this is the St. Coletta experience. And... Uh, I thank you for the opportunity to have led the organization and to have today to do this. So our first honoree is actually 10 years, and it's Colin Dwyer. Colin, where are you at here? Okay, Colin's right there. Colin is shy, <laughs> which is why he's going first today. You want to come up here? You want to stay here? Oh, no. Okay, there you go. Congratulations. So Colin's going to gonna go home and enjoy his day, and we're going to launch with the five years. While Sister's walking over his certificate to Colin, a little bit about him. Colin is a funny, goofy guy that loves basketball and getting out of the house. His favorite weekend activity is going for a ride to the gas station with his peers. Colin is also fond of video games and dancing to his favorite music. His favorite destination when he was, was little was Chuck E. Cheese. In his home, he has a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that he has well mastered, and Colin has made lifelong friends living at St. Coletta, at St. John's home in St. Coletta, through participating in Special Olympics. He has participated in basketball, bowling, as well as track and field. All of these adventures and many more to come. Congratulations, Colin. Five years, Eze Agua. Is she here? He's, he's not here. Shanice, or better known as Eze, has attended the GMA, the Greater Milwaukee Area Intergenerational Center, for the past five years. During these past five years, we have enjoyed listening to Eze sing almost daily. He has such a beautiful voice. Although Eze is quite quiet, or pretty quiet, his facial expressions always tell a story. As he gives great hugs and will give you an extra tight squeeze if cookies are involved. As he loves his family and looks forward to when his, his sister visits him. As he has been a great addition to the Greater Milwaukee Area IGC and we all look forward to making uh, more years along with him. Thank you. Luke Bernat.
You want to come up here a little? Okay. Now we're going to talk about Luke. Luke Hunter Bernat lives at St. Maria Crescentia Home located in Brookfield. Uh, that home was built two years ago. Um, he loves interacting with his peers. No matter where you go, everyone knows Luke for his smile and handsome eyes. He's a curious individual that enjoys moving around his surroundings to see what is happening in his immediate environment. St. Maria's staff have noticed Luke's love to go on car rides, eat anything in local restaurants with his friends, coloring and building positive relationships with his peers. Currently, Luke is making progress on using eating utensils during mealtime and other activities of daily living that promotes his independence. Luke attends the Intergenerational Center in New Berlin throughout the week, in which he's, he is fond on going on outings, including New Berlin, bowling, and interacting with his peers. Most of all, Luke is excited whenever he has special time with his family, especially his brothers. The experiences he cherishes above all is spending time in the family cabin up north and going boating on the nearby lakes and rivers with his family. Luke is celebrating five years with us at St. Clair of Wisconsin. We are all so proud of this milestone for Luke. Congratulations. Next, Danny D. Danny here. Danny was in here earlier. There he is. As you can tell, Danny's a quiet, kind soul. Danny came to live with us five years ago, but he's made a tremendous impact in the St. John's home, as well as the Excel Day program in that time. He's always happy to greet friends and staff with a smile and a hug. He loves to write letters to his family and color them special pictures. However, some of his favorite things to do are to dance and sing and if you ever see him around music, you'll know why, especially while playing his guitar or his keyboard. Thank you, Danny, for making your home a welcoming and warm place. We celebrate you today. Nathan Farrell. Come on, Nathan. Okay, okay. Nathan has been a joy to know. He's a true champion in the classroom and on the field. He continues to grow in Genesis, which is an educational program here designed to help you uh, work in the community and things like that. He's come a long way with cope, his coping skills. He is able to stay calm and collective when it matters. He's also, he also displays exceptional manners, always eager to hold the door open and willing to offer a helping hand. He's a true gentleman. Nathan continues to be an asset at St. Coletta, the St. Coletta Clean Team. He appreciates his job in janitorial services, helping keep the windows and grounds clean. Nathan also shares his talent and love for sports. He enjoys taking sports during lunchtime and is always up to date with the latest sports buzz. He also participates in St. Coletta's rec program. He's a talented athlete 
when it comes to golf and bowling. Even took first place in the 2023 Special Olympic Golf Tournament. His victory even landed him a WTMJ radio broadcast. Congratulations on five years at St. Coletta Nathan. Jason Giss. I've seen Jason come in. Not sure. What. Okay. Just raise your hand. We can bring it to you, Jason. He's coming. Jason lives at the Gobert home in Illinois. Come on up. Right here, Jason. This is actually worse for Walter than it is for you. <laughs> Walter's very shy himself. Jason is Mr. Silly at the Gobert Silla home. He can entertain himself or others endlessly with simple gestures and words. A huge fan of the movie and characters in Frozen, Jason's family dogs are even named Eliza and Anna. Jason has an unusual desire to camp out overnight wherever he may happen to be. Jason is an avid fan of, fan of swimming, mini, miniature golf, arcade games, and also his iPad. Jason, unlike many of his Silla peers, actually loves all veggies. He has really blossomed socially since joining the St. Coletta Silla and Sheep programs. And this is located in Rolling Meadows in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Thank you, Jason, for making St. Coletta your home these past five years. Jason, St. Coletta looks forward to many more anniversary celebrations with you. And maybe you'll be that seventh. Got something you wanted to say? <laughs> Here, maybe, huh? Probably out on the porch. Thanks, Jason. Jordan Jelinek? I don't think Jordan's here, is she? I didn't see her. Okay. Jordan has been a wonderful addition to the Jefferson Excel team. Jordan is always enthusiastic to participate in all activities that Jefferson Excel offers, but she especially enjoys being outdoors, going for walks, crafting, and anything to do with the holidays. Jordan's active lifestyle also makes her a great basketball player and bowler. She has enjoyed these activities the past few years and has grown in not only her skill, but also in her sportsmanship. She is always cheering on others and providing her positivity or her positive attitude. It is a genuine joy to have Jordan at Excel and as part of the St. Coletta program. Jordan lives in the community and she's one of our community clients that we don't serve residentially, but 
as all members of the St. Coletta family, we enjoy her nonetheless. Thank you for making us smile these past five years. Congratulations, Jordan. Also for five years, Sam Johnson. Sam is not here today. Sam is, has joined or joined the uh, St. Coletta family five years ago, participating in our intergenerational center in New Berlin. Sam brings such tremendous amount of energy to the IGC with his funny sayings. There are, no, there are too many to list. Sam enjoys going out for rides and walks around the neighborhood and parks and he loves to swing. Sam has a really close relationship with his father, and you will often hear him say, go daddy's office. Sam always looks forward to having one, having one of his mom's homemade cookies in his lunch, and Sam has been a joy, and congratulations to your five years at St. Coletta. J.J. Jordan, also five years. I don't think J.J. is here. Jason Jordan, a.k.a. J.J., keeps us on our toes with his mischievous personality. J.J. loves to go for rides, hanging out at the park, and spending time with his peers. J.J. sings along to, to the music in his own unique way. He loves to walk around and give staff hugs and interacting with staff with the building blocks. When JJ randomly takes our hand, he usually is usually on a mission to find the bean, the bean bag for a little rest and relaxation. We can't wait to see what else JJ will lead us to in the next five years. Congratulations, JJ. Mike Chemnitz. Mike is here, I know. There he is. Mike Chemnitz. Mike enjoys living at the St. Isidore home. Before that, he lived in Waukesha at one of our homes there, but he relocated here to Jefferson. He's a friendly fellow who enjoys chatting with others. His independence is very important to him. Mike is a strong self-advocate and is a valued member of the St. Coletta Consumer Leadership Council. I kind of think of this as representatives of the St. Coletta person served, and Mike uh, shares things that are going on that uh, maybe need improvement, things like that. Mike likes going on outings, reading, and fishing. He loves going to Milwaukee Brewers games and knows a lot about baseball. Mike is a history buff as well. He enjoys listening to books on tape, watching Roku TV, playing mind and brain games, playing survival on Netflix, watching sports, and sitting out on the deck at the Isidore home. Mike likes using his tablet to play games and listens to pro podcasts, especially the Ramsey Financial Show. He enjoys going to Golden Options and likes the re-club trips to see the Madison Mallards at their baseball games. Uh, the Bishop in Madison sponsored uh, a Madison Mallards baseball game uh, last year. It was nice, his personal treat. Mike likes to, talking on the phone with his uncle and brother his dream is to try skydiving sometime. He is celebrating five years with us at St. Coletta. Congratulations, Mike. Jenny Lyon. I don't think she's here. Jenny is part of our Illinois program. She, she has a smile that can light up any room at the drop of a hat. Jenny participates in Pioneer Day programs in McHenry County, where she enjoys the company of other staff and participants. 
the Pioneer Center is an hour from her home. So she travels an hour there and an hour home every day to be part of that program. She enjoys most activities with her housemates. She especially loves getting her nails and hair done and special celebratory events. Jennifer is never at a loss on how to express when she does not want to go to somewhere or stay home. Jennifer is also able to communicate via sign language. Since moving into the Jenny Berg Silla home, this is in Elgin, she now lives closer to her parents' home. Good thing is she really enjoys her family time together and it's convenient. Congratulations, Jenny, on this, your first of many five-year St. Clair anniversaries. Congratulations. <laughs> Noah Martinez, and I don't think Noah is here either. Oh, okay. Noah has been a joy to have in our programs. Noah is always eager and ready to participate in all the activities and outings. Noah will be the first one to jump up if there is something that he can help with, to volunteer. Noah really enjoys being outdoors, helping in the garden, talking about his horses, and participating in any outings that pertains to sports and animals. Noah loves his family and really enjoys hanging out with Grandpa. Congratulations on your first five years, Noah. Come on up, Bailey. You all set? Okay. Bailey Nelson. Bailey lives at Frederick Home in Fort Atkinson. She has a smile that can light up every room. Bailey likes playing games, cooking, making her lunches for Excel, baking cookies, and using her tablet for games and Netflix. She enjoys dancing, shopping, and walking daily with her toy dog, Cooper. Bailey likes coloring, singing, listening to music, arts and crafts, getting her hair and nails done, and watching movies like Barney and musicals like Grease. One of Bailey's very favorite things is Kozo Code Zero. Coke, Coke Zero, excuse me. Bailey loves going anywhere on outings with her housemates. She likes going to Excel and singing in the Nova Choir. Bailey enjoys swimming, bowling, and dinner dances with the rec club. Bailey's family is very important to her and she loves going on home visits with all her relatives. She's celebrating her five years with St. Coletta. Congratulations, Bailey. Morel Poe, and I don't think Morel is here. When Morel first joined St. Coletta, he was a, a little shy and mostly kept to himself. Over the last five years, he's opened up and shown, in, shown staff and others his fun and caring side, and also his most contagious smile. Morel has developed many friendships in the past five years and has even made up some handshakes with staff. He enjoys chapel activities, going outside, walking, participating in learning activities, and music. Morel loves Jay-Z and Beyonce. You can find him joking around with staff by writing his name on worksheets as Jay-Z. <laughs> Cheers to you on celebrating five years, Morel. We look forward to many more. Congratulations. <laughs> one, one thing I'd, li I'd like to share with you is uh, I, I sign these certificates, but one of the things you may not notice is over here in the lower right-hand corner is the school seal of St. Coletta, some uh, eight decades old, a little raised stamp, it's just a little, a little bit of a, a throwback to our sisters and an honor to them and all they've done. So everybody gets these. D.D. <laughs> Ramirez. Come up, Dee Dee. D. 
Edie Ramirez. Edie is truly one of the most kind-hearted individuals you will ever have the pleasure of meeting. Her smile lights up a room like a radiant burst of sunshine. There you go. <laughs> Bringing warmth to all who cross her path. While she may seem a bit reserved and soft-spoken at first, the moment you truly connect with Edie, you'll come to realize just how uniquely special she truly is. Didi lives at San Damiano and enjoys going to the Excel Day program. Didi sings in Nova Choir and participates in communication classes at UW Whitewater, and this is a program that's gone on for a long time where university students help our individuals communicate better. It's a remarkable program. Imagine if you couldn't communicate and you just found out how to do that. They, they are strong team members. She also continues to practice and improve on the use of the American Sign Language to communicate and to express herself. Dee Dee's talents really show in matching games, puzzles, and creating arts and crafts. When working on craft projects, Dee Dee always takes her time paying attention to all the details. Creating something beautiful to take back home and proudly display on her bedroom wall or dresser. Dee Dee is always ready for a dance party. If you know Dee Dee, then you know that her heart beats to the rhythm of the one and only Latin singer, Selena. While Dee Dee does enjoy dancing to all types of music, when, it, when the melodies of Selena fill the room, there is a spark in her eyes that cannot be denied. Dee Dee, Dee Dee, boom, boom. <laughs> and Dreaming of You are just a few songs that make Dee Dee's heart sing and her feet move with pure joy. Dee Dee enjoys being out and about in the community, going out to eat, shopping, having her nails painted, coloring, looking at fashion magazines, having her makeup and hair done, helping in the kitchen with cooking, and she really likes to spend time outdoors, soaking up the sunshine. Thank you, Dee Dee, for reminding us to embrace the joy of dancing like nobody's watching and letting our spirits dance and sing freely. We are excited to celebrate your five years anniversary here at St. Clair. Congratulations. Danielle Saglinski. I don't think Danielle is here. Also celebrating five years, Danielle is very friendly and a polite person. When you talk with Danielle, you're sure to receive a compliment within a few minutes. Danielle has developed many close friendships and has shown us how kind her heart is. She enjoys many activities excel, but some of her favorite things to do are socializing with her friends and staff, learning new things, reading, writing, and working on various academic worksheets. She also participates in bocce ball, bowling, and exercise activities such as walking on the track. Danielle is a very outgoing and active person who is always ready to go on an adventure. Congratulations on five years, Danielle. Five years, Danielle, and we are so grateful to have you here with us. Dylan Sulfur. Dylan, Dylan is not here also. Dylan also comes in and greets us with an infectious smile. And, and if we can get him laughing, he lights up a room. Dylan enjoys scarf dancing and listening to any music we can surround him with. Dylan is very affectionate, loves hugs and head massages. And any sort of rock and roll is on Dylan can shimmy and shake like no other. Dylan loves going for rides and being outside. And we look forward to rocking with Dylan for many years to come. Congratulations on five years. Evan Springer. I don't think Evan is here either. So Evan is also part of the, the new 
Greater Milwaukee Area Residential Program uh, in Brookfield. And he started attending the Intergenerational Center in 2019, prior to his move into the Father Salinas Casey home in Brookfield. He has also found a community that he enjoys at Don Alexa Art Center, where he is involved in art and theater. Evan is known for being stylish, passionate about his beliefs, and having loving and caring interactions with both his staff and peers, and his smile that lights up a room. Evan enjoys spending time with his friends, playing video games, participating in Special Olympics, and is known for his phenomenal storytelling skills. He says one of his favorite activities is house meetings because he gets to have input in the activities that are being planned. We have truly enjoyed having Evan as part of the St. Coletta family these past five years and look forward to the next five years. Congratulations, Evan. <laughs> Tina Turner. I don't think Tina's here either. Tina is a roommate of Bailey Nelson. She lives at Fort at the uh, Frederick home. Oh, is she? Okay. We'll bring it to you, Tina. Tina lives at the Fort or the Frederick home in Fort Atkinson. She is a kind, sweet, and friendly person. She is a social butterfly once she gets to know you. She loves cats, horses, unicorns, Mickey Mouse, stuffed animals, and food, especially anything with sugar. <laughs> Tina is a very serious cookbook collector and has over 200 of them. She finds new recipes each week for, for her home to try out and likes helping staff cook their new discoveries. Her favorite food to cook is a dish with pasta, anything with pasta. Tina loves going on all kinds of outings with her housemates and going on Able Trek, Able Trek tour uh, trips. She likes to collect hugs or collect bags from all over the world. Tina enjoys putting puzzles together, gluing them, and hanging them up in her room. She likes country music, word searches, arts and crafts, coloring, and playing games. Tina likes going to excel into the rec club dinner dances. She enjoys singing in the Nova Choir and doing Special Olympic sports. She loves spending time with her sister, her family, and her boyfriend on home visits. She's collecting, or she is celebrating five years with the St. Coletta family Congratulations, Tina. Connor Wells. Okay, also five years. Connor has brought us lots of laughs and enjoyment with the years he has been with us. Connor likes to swing, spending time at the sensory gym and going for nature walks. Don't let him fool you as he walks, as he starts off walking leisurely, but he usually picks up the, the pace, leading the pack. We can always count on Connor to rearrange uh, desks and making sure we are saving electricity but turning off the lights. Connor amazing, uh, amazes us with his agility with jumping. We enjoy having Connor in our program and can't wait to see what the future brings. Congratulations, Connor. Okay, we're jumping to 10 years. Martin Anger. Martin's here, I know I saw him. Here he comes. Ten years ago, Martin came to the Garden Silla Home, this is in Roselle, Illinois, with a wealth of uncommon experiences among his peers. Marty has traveled the world, meeting public, meeting public and other political figures. He's a man with an impressive book collection. He will share countless stories with anyone having the time to listen to, in amazement. Marty's knowledge of 1960s and 1970s pop culture is without equal among his peers. 
He collects and holds interest in many things, including eagles, the beetles, locations, and event memorabilia. Marty began his time with a fiercely independent spirit, refined palate, yet ability to laugh at his own weaknesses. He has come a long way in accepting life on his own terms, yet still seeks to pursue traditions and simple pleasures. He maintains and values long-term friendships and tries to be a peer support to other members of the house, even when the peers are unable to recognize the value of those efforts. Marty also enjoys family time, outdoor vacations, dancing, old network reruns, and fishing. He is a devoted uncle, making sure he secures holiday gifts for his family guests. Marty, St. Coletta, and the Garden Silla team are honored to continue in your service on this occasion of your 10-year milestone. Trenisha Lee. Lee has been here at St. Coletta for 10 years. She resides at the Nichols home, which is in Arlington Heights, Illinois. She is such a joy. She loves to dance and sing. She encourages the other ladies to join in and dance with her. She loves to paint and do all things crafty. Trenisha is the life of the party. She enjoys shopping and doing her hair. Trenisha has a daughter that is 16 years old. She loves to shop for her daughter and spend time with her. Trenisha is very helpful around the house. She has a beautiful room and keeps it clean. She loves decorating it and changing things around. Trenisha works in the community, away from the home. She, starts, she started out working at Jules Osco when she moved to St. Coletta. Now she is at Portillo's restaurant nearby her home at Nichols. She has been on her job for almost nine years. She does an excellent job there. She also attends our Achieve program Monday through Friday. She's very helpful at Achieve. She's very attentive to her peers and helps them out. They're so proud of her and the, all the accomplishments she's, she's achieved. Congratulations. I would like to say thank you for everyone is here and I very appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Leah Jones. Leah isn't here either. Um, but Leah uh, lives at the Jenny Berg home in Elgin, Illinois. Leah's endured a long road to a healthier, a healthier time now. Despite that struggle during most of her years with St. Coletta, Leah was blessed with never appearing to have aged. Leah remains a huge fan of Mr. Rogers in particular and Disney movies and characters in general. She's acquired an extensive collection of Disney-related items to display in her to display her loyalty. Don't look too closely, though, as Leah is fiercely protective of her treasure trove. Leah enjoys participating in the Pioneer Center Day program. She has come to particularly enjoy working with an iPad in her classroom. Leah willingly accepts the extended transport distance to participate in the out and country day program. This, again, is one hour from her home, so she's got a lot of travel. Leah's other interests range from jigsaw puzzles to horseback riding during warmer months. Leah is never shy to let others know what she wants and thinks about things deeply. She willingly shares her awareness of and with others. When happy, she will shower you with nonstop kisses. Leah St. Coletta and the Jenny Berg home wish you all the best during your first 15 years at St. Coletta and beyond. Victor Dunlap. Come on, Victor. Come on. Hi there. 
All right, here we go. The only two guys with tuxes here, and Victor rocks his blue one very well. <laughs> First off, I'd like to answer a couple of Victor's favorite questions. Who are you? And what are you doing here? <laughs> we're St. Coletta, and we're here to honor you, Victor. And 20 years of being graced by your presence. And no, this is not a joke. Victor moved into Alverno at St. Coletta on March 12, 2004, and we learned quickly how athletic Victor is. I'd like you all to picture this in your head. Victor, 20 years younger and new to the St. Coletta family, darting out the door and running through a cornfield with staff attempting to keep up. <laughs> it was quite the learning experience for us. Fast forward back to today, and Victor is highly decorated Special Olympics athlete, not surprisingly, with basketball being one of his favorite sports. In 2009, Victor moved to St. Mike's, where he currently resides here in Jefferson. Victor and his housemate Joel have become best friends over the years, and they often, they're often found spending time together watching movies and sports. Victor is a fun guy to be around. He's got jokes, but he's always incredibly friendly and will come in for a hug. Victor is also a handsome and sweet-talking ladies' man. <laughs> he always finds time to talk to all the ladies wherever he is, and that includes my wife <laughs> at chapel. <laughs> the last 20 years have been a delight with Victor, and we're all looking forward to the next 20 years of smiles and laughs. Thank you, Victor, for all you do, and congratulations. Thanks, Victor. Also 25 years, Vince De Luigi. Vince. Vincent Albert De Luigi, also known as Vince, resides at Hydrate Home, located in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Vince is known to be a sweetheart to many due to his charming personality. Once he, once, once he gets to know you uh, and that you care about him and can, he thrusts on you and he opens up and expresses his big personality and sense of humor. When Vince is at Hydrate Home, he loves sitting in his room listening to his satellite radio. He also enjoys his collection of monster cars and various figurines. If you're uh, into matchbox vehicles, he's looking for a semi-tractor that's been elusive for him for quite a while. <laughs> One of his favorite activities at home is singing karaoke with his karaoke machine. He loves, his love for music is evident as you can hear him singing to his favorite tunes or see him busting out his dance moves. When he's relaxing, he likes to sip on a cup of tea. He attends Smiles when, he's, when it's in session. That's a writing program down by Lake Geneva. On Saturdays, which he cares for his horse as well, is learning to ride them. His favorite horse is Freckles, right? What's his name? Rio. Rio. Got a new one named Rio. Most of all, he loves Harley, da he loves Harley Davidson. Vince attends a work program throughout the week at Pantheon Industries. He excels at completing the Bolt Pierce piece job that he does. He also gets along very well with his peers at work. Congratulations on 25 years. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. You know what? I got a second page here. I didn't, um, excuse me, I got a second page. Vince has always embraced music since he was a young child. Dating back to his high school years, he would, he would always find him with his portable radio or boombox singing and following all these artists. Even now, he can still name every song an artist and sings along with the lyrics. He used to be an avid bowler. He was, 
He was in his employees league, employers league with Burger King. One Sunday at 10 p.m. he bowled five strikes in a row, making him a legend in his own league. It is always a pleasure to have Vince home with his, with his family, with his music blasting and dancing in his bedroom. After a little music, he comes to the kitchen to prepare snacks or one of his favorite breakfast concoctions, which are too spicy for his parents. Vince is always there to help them in the kitchen no matter how much chopping or stirring of the ingredients it takes him or his parents to do. When his brother and sister and their friends were at home, the house turned into a fraternity party house. Now that he has transitioned to hydrate, the party house continues. Vince is celebrating 25 years at St. Clara. Congratulations, Vince. Now we're done. Attention. I had very good memories at St. Clara. At St. Clara. Mike Medved. I know Mike's here. I saw him. Mike Medved. Mike joined St. Coletta in 1999. Mike has lived at Cavalier, Mohawk, and currently St. Julian, all in Waukesha. Mike participated in vocational skills training. He attended the Goodwill Adult Center and has been attending the Greater Milwaukee Area Intergenerational Center since it opened. Mike is known for being at arm's length away, an arm's length away from his staff and always ready to lend a hand or just enjoy their company. Mike's favorite way of assisting is to help with sweeping. And he's often seen with a boom box on his hand. Thanks, Mike. He enjoys arts and crafts and likes color, color to color pictures, which he often gifts to other people. While staff always have coloring materials ready for him, he has been known to experiment with coloring household objects to bring a little extra vibrancy to his environment. Mike also gets to use his art skills at Don Alexa, where he is known for deconstructing previous art projects and collaging them into new masterpieces. A few other things Mike enjoys is going for walks, spaghetti, listening to music and animals, especially dogs. Yet even with all these activities, he looks forward to nothing beats a weekend trip home to see his family. I think Coletta has enjoyed having you as part of the family, Mike, and we look forward to the next 25 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Excuse me, Robbie Reynolds, celebrating 25 years. Robbie came to St. Coletta in 1999. He joined us at Cavalier, he moved to Mohawk, and he currently resides at St. Julian. So him and Mike would have been roommates the whole time. Robbie has been employed at Waukesha Training Center, attending Paragon Industries and Goodwill Adult Center. He has been attending programming at the Intergenerational Center since its opening. Robbie, okay. Robbie values his downtime, where he is frequently watching roller coaster videos. Robbie is great at ro roller coaster trivia, and if you tell him the name, he can likely tell you which park it's from. When, when Robbie is ready to engage with his staff, he will come stand in front of you and turn around, ready for a nice backstroke. This happens all the time. Robbie also enjoys visiting his family, soda, 
watching movies, working on puzzles, and is known to enjoy completing math problems. Robbie's known for his sense of humor, where a singular comment will at times dazzle his staff and still have them giggling days later. Robbie also enjoys painting at Don Alexa and any outing that involves eating. Thank you for being part of the St. Coletta family, Robbie. Congratulations on your next. Tim Casey. I know Tim's here. Hello, Tim Casey. So Tim came to St. Coletta in 1994, the birth year of worldwide, the World Wide Web. In his time with us, he has been a great help to our grounds department. He has become very skilled at mowing our lawns and keeping the grounds looking their best all spring and summer. He has his own John Deere garden tractor, which he takes good care of, very proud of. During the winter months, he prefers to hibernate and watch his favorite movies and listen to his favorite music. And he has a lot of movies, all action movies. The Peach Mode is one of his all-time favorite Depeche Mode. <laughs> it's one of his all-time favorite bands, and he can be heard listening to them during the off-season for mowing. He's also a fan of tracing animals for staff and friends. His signature shark tracing hangs all around the apartment building where he lives. Congratulations, Tim, on 30 years with St. Coletta. We hope to serve you many years. Tim Grandellis. Tim has an incredible personality and is an absolute joy to be around. His positivity and friendliness radiate from him wherever he goes. He is always there to help out, a fantastic problem solver, and genuinely wants to make sure everyone feels included. Tim thrives living at Theodore, enjoys attending Excel Day program, and is an active athlete in Special Olympics bowling and basketball teams. And they just won, or they placed third in the state uh, <laughs> basketball final. Tim enjoys going out to eat, shopping, cooking with staff, and being out and about just about anywhere in the community. Of course, he loves watching and talking about sports, particularly basketball, baseball, and football. If you need to know the latest sports news, Tim is your guy. His favorite football team is none other than the Bears. <laughs> Sorry, Packer fans. For those of you that have had the pleasure of working with Tim, you may recall his famous, his famous catchphrases, you're fired. <laughs> Quickly followed by, you get a raise. <laughs> and if you're really fortunate, he might even say, get a car. <laughs> Tim has a special way of making people smile with his humor and kind soul. Over the years, Tim has developed strong friendships with a group of guys that live within St. Coletta. He values these bonds greatly, enjoys spending time with his friends whenever possible. You can often spot this group out in the community, walking or biking together. They lost a lot of weight together biking uh, in the past two years. Tim has slimmed down a lot, but you commonly see him biking together. Tim also cherishes his visits with his family, eagerly making his daily morning calls to mom and dad. His family, friends, and close staff members hold a special place in his heart. Thank you, Tim, for always wearing a smile and brightening the days of those around you. We are thrilled to celebrate your 30-year anniversary at St. Clair. <laughs> Bill Lincoln held 35 years. Yep. 
Bill's going to stay at his chair there. Bill has been with St. Coletta for 35 years, currently part of the Illinois program at the Avon House in Arlington Heights. Bill really loves his family and looks forward to seeing them for the holidays. Bill will sit with his staff and look through his photo albums and name everybody. He loves to look at calendars and point to important dates. He will point to his birthday and say, what are we doing? <laughs> he, loves, he loves going to McDonald's. His favorite thing to ask for is fish filet and Coke. He enjoys having conversations with his staff. Bill loves going for rides and looking out the window. He likes to know in advance what is going on so he can remind you. Bill attends the Avenue's workshop in, uh, on Mondays through Friday. He really enjoys going, to, going there. Congratulations on your 35 years, Bill. <laughs> Michelle Preet, also 35 years. Oh, she's going to come up here. She's too shy to get her picture taken. She's going to come up. Michelle is a wonderfully kind-hearted individual with a sense of humor that never fails to bring a smile to those around her. She has a special talent for anticipating the needs of her peers and staff before they even realize it themselves. Always eager to lend a helping hand. While Michelle may appear shy or quiet at first, once you get to know her and she gets to know you, her true social butterfly nature shines through. Michelle likes living at St. Agnes here in Jefferson and enjoys going to the Excel Day program. Michelle participates in swimming with Excel and finds joy in shopping with new clothes, giving her, getting her nails done, coloring, doing crafts, cooking with her staff, going out to eat, going to movie, dancing and grooving to music. Michelle also enjoys going to shows at the Fireside Dinner Theater and other activities with recreation. Michelle's fun-loving nature is admired by all. She has a special talent for making others laugh with her peekaboos and never-ending knock-knock jokes. Her joy and laughter are a gift to everyone around her, and it's just one of the many things that makes her so endearing and unique. Another thing about Michelle is that she takes great pride in her appearance, especially her hair. If she notices a staff's hair is out of place, she's not afraid to playfully say, comb your hair. <laughs> it's all in good fun, though, as she always has a big smile on her face. Michelle's playful spirit and friendly demeanor truly make her stand out. Michelle enjoys spending time with her peers and staff and stays in touch with her family by talking to them regularly on the phone. Staying connected with her family is important to Michelle. And she looks forward to seeing her family that live out of state for the holidays and vacation. Thank you, Michelle, for bringing joy and fun to everyone around you. We are absolutely thrilled to celebrate your 35th anniversary here at St. Coletta. Congratulations. <laughs> Eric Svensson. Eric Svensson. Eric lives in Arlington Heights in the Goldberg home in Illinois. And he recently was welcomed back after an extended medical procedures recovery. He is definitely none the worse for wear and during this time away in good fashion. Eric is someone who was born to be busy with physical activity, whether it be cleaning or community outings. Count Eric in. Eric is a regular at the Hicks Office Chapel and bingo nights. He also rarely misses a social event on the Gobert or St. Coletta calendars. Eric is currently trying to make the best of being in between day programs right now. Among Eric's passions though is communicating his pri priority concerns to others, whether it be via signing, gestures, or verbal expressionism. 
Eric becomes quite excited when others correctly understand his communication. Eric really enjoys the opportunity for family, and he has a big one, and they support us at that house a lot for the years. Whenever and for however long it may be available, Eric adapts reasonably well to change. After 35 years, Eric has had plenty of practice adapting to very many changes. Eric, here's to many more St. Coletta anniversary celebrations for you. Uh, congratulations. And Mike Cassidy. There's Mike. <laughs> Mike Cassidy came to St. Coletta in 1984. He's been living at St. Isidore here in Jefferson for many years. Mike is a kind man who likes to be helpful. He has a great sense of humor and loves to joke with people. At home, Mike enjoys watching TV, cleaning, and helping his staff with chores. He likes going shopping, likes going out to eat, and to, yeah. the, and to the movies with his housemate. Mike enjoys going to Excel in the mornings. He likes participating in bocce ball and basketball skills. He loves his afternoon job in the vocational skills training program here at the, the uh, campus, in the housekeeping department, and especially likes cleaning floors. Yeah, go to you all your day. He has a positive attitude and takes great pride in his work. Mike's family is very important to him, and he loves going on home visits to Illinois to see his siblings, nieces, and nephews. Occasionally, Mike might ask you if you're broke. <laughs> it's usually an indication that he might need some money for a soda or something. Else. Yeah. Mike is celebrating 40 years with St. Coletta. Congratulations. Yeah. Mary Ann Tryon. Mary is also celebrating 40 years. Mary is an absolutely incredible individual with a heart of gold and a fierce sense of her own independence. She brings so much joy and positivity to everyone around her. Her intelligence science shines through in her engaging conversations with staff and peers, and her quick wit and clever sense of humor never fail to brighten the room. Marianne likes living at St. Agnes here in Jefferson, enjoys attending Excel Day program, She's an active athlete in Special Olympics bowling and bocce ball, and always bringing her positive energy to the games. Mary spent many years working at the Fireside Dinner Theater before retiring. Known for her kindness, Mary always goes out of her way to lend a helping hand to her friends and staff. Mary thrives on learning new things, exploring new places, and engaging her favorite activity of shopping. Whether she's strolling through Walmart, browsing gas station, convenience store, or checking out a gift shop at a museum, Mary's always able to find something interesting to purchase and bring home with her. Mary also enjoys other activities such as attending shows at the fireside, reading books, listening to soft rock and oldies, doing crafts, dining out, going to the movies, and baking. In addition to these hobbies, Mary is a, also has a talent for drawing, and takes pride in her artwork. Mary not only enjoys hanging out with her peers and staff, but she absolutely cherishes spending time with her family. She enjoys catching up with her brothers over the phone regularly and makes sure to visit them often, both in-state and out-of-state, for holidays and vacation. They're very devoted to her. Thank you, Mary, for sharing your wisdom, humor, and positivity here with us at St. Coletta. We're excited to honor and celebrate your incredible milestone of 40 years. Congratulations.
Don Weber. An authentic fashionista here, folks. John Weber came to St. Colette in 1984. He has been living at, at the St. Martha's home for several years, and we're very lucky to have her. John is one of the most colorful people you'll ever meet. We're not talking about her apparel. Very colorful. From her pink hair all the way down to her toes. She's always wearing a dazzling array of clothes, jewelry, and accessories every day. She loves getting her hair and nails done and never and never tires of shopping for more bling. John has a colorful personality to match her wardrobe. She, she's welcoming to everybody she meets and has a heart of gold that shares with all who know her. Those who know her well call her grandma. Sean is a social butterfly and loves to chat. She's creative and enjoys doing crafts, painting, and coloring. Sean likes listening to music, especially Christmas music, all year long. She enjoys singing, playing games, puzzles, using her iPad, baking, and going on outing. She likes going to Golden Option, Nova Choir. Make sure I get all these best, best buddies. She also enjoys rec club, dinner dances, and fireside music. Sean loves spending time with her siblings. She's celebrating 40 years at St. Coletta. Congratulations on 40 years. Here you go. Allison Pate. Allison Pate, what a kind soul. Ellie has been with St. Coletta for 45 years. First here in Jefferson before moving with the <laughs> Illinois program the day she lives at Nichols in Arlington Heights. Allie is our baby. She is so lovable. She's very sensitive and can pick up your mood. She loves being involved in everything. You can tell when she's happy. You'll be able to hear her you'll be able to hear her mamas from the other side of the room. She really loves her family. She lights up when she hears her mama's voice or if someone mentions her. There you go. Her favorite things are fun necklaces and bracelets. She really enjoys her stuffed animals and dolls. All of her peers in the home really care and look out for her. Ellie attends chapel on Tuesday at the Hicks office. <laughs> Father Charles is always looking forward to seeing our sweet Allie. She attends the Achieve Day program Monday through Friday. Allie commands the attention of everyone, and, and we love to give our attention to her. Congratulations on 45 years, Allie. Fifty years. Our first one is Kurt Novak. Kurt isn't with us here today, but 
but I'll share a little story from his house. Kurt is a lover of trinkets, swag, sunshade eyewear, and all things circular that you can wear. He enjoys attending the Hicks office, bi-weekly chapel service, and parties of any and all sorts. Kurt has never, has never met a camera that he didn't want to pose in front of. <laughs> Kurt attends the St. Coletta Achieve Day program in Illinois, where he participates in all manner of table-based and other activities. He feels that he's at ease around his peers at, at Achieve, regardless of their disability limitation. Kurt really loves his brother Skip, who up to twice a year travels across the globe to spend a week packed with community tours and shopping with Kurt. When not visiting in person, Kurt will communicate with Skip via electronic, audio, and visual connections and old-fashioned personal letters. Kurt enjoys watching sports, listening to music on the radio. Kurt has met, met the many challenges of aging with grace. He does stand up for himself when faced with peer teasing and looks forward to his next St. Coletta anniversary milestone. Congratulations, Kurt, on your 50th golden anniversary, half century with St. Coletta. <laughs> 55 years, Vance Johnson. joined the St. Coletta family on September 2nd, 1969, and we are, honoring to be, we are honored to be celebrating its 55 years of service. Vance has lived at St. Coletta, many St. Coletta residences, Sacred Heart Junior, Sacred Heart Senior, St. Joe's Junior and Senior, Casket, Juniper, and then St. Michael from 1986 until 2009. Vance moved into a CC Apartments in September of 2009. On May 19th, 2021, Vance moved back to St. Michael, where he happily resides today. Last year, Vance retired from the fireside after many years there. As, as much as he enjoyed working there, he enjoys retirement more. <laughs> Vance is always a gentleman and a man with style. That is that handsome smile, and those snazzy shirts bright in the gloomiest of days. Vance is forever friendly and a joy to spend time with and is a caring soul. He raises the bar by sharing his kindness and inviting others to celebrate life, life's precious moments with him. Vance is also a very tidy person. He keeps th his things organized and his room spotless. One thing Vance isn't is a morning person. <laughs> Mornings are reserved for naps, so don't pester him before 11 a.m. at Golden Option. <laughs> He's a self-proclaimed late owl and enjoys staying up until 4 a.m. Working on his latch hook, his puzzle books, and word searches. Once he's gotten a nap in, Vince enjoys hanging out with peers and doing puzzles, and he enjoys outings with his friends. Here's to you, Vance. Hope you've made your last 50 years a All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. We're getting toward the end here. Mike McTeague, 70 years. reach 70 years at St. Coletta. I know you're a history buff and will appreciate all of these historical milestones. In your 70 years, you've witnessed significant changes in politics, government, business, economics, demographics, and lifestyle. 
Dwight D. Eisenhower was the president with Richard Nixon serving as vice president when he came to St. Coletta. Sir Winston Churchill became Britain's prime minister and was named Times Magazine Man of the Year. A gallon of milk cost 92 cents, while a gallon of gas was 23 cents. The average cost of a car was $1,700. At that time, New York had the largest state population of 13.4 million, and there were 48 U.S. states with a resident population of 132 million people. The Pope in 1954 was Pope Pius XII. Michael, when you were a young lad of 13, you came to St. Coletta. From 1958 to 2007, you were a dedicated worker in the main laundry which later transferred to Alverno. Your attention to detail was magnificent, and you took a lot of pride in your job until retirement. During your younger years, you had a daily routine of going into town, being very active and social, and nearly everyone knew who you were. You certainly lived life to the fullest. Your faith and religious routine are very important to you, as you never miss your religious programs. After that, your interest lies in politics, staying informed not only about the U.S., but also about global affairs. Additionally, you have a keen interest in the British monarch's royals. In, in retirement, you've come to enjoy reading newspapers, checking obituaries, and staying in close contact with your family, who mean the world to you. Your sense of humor, wonderful smile, and desire to keep everyone informed and up to date are truly remarkable. I want to commend you, Michael, and raise a toast to your 70 years at St. Coletta. Congratulations. I want to share something with Mike that, that I think highlights not only him, but the St. Coletta brand. And when I joined St. Coletta in 2008, one of the first people I met was Mike. And, uh, you know, he was very independent at the time in doing things. And I stopped by Theodore House, which is here in Jefferson, to see him. Because I hadn't met him, and I know he'd, he'd been served a long time. So I went to his room, and I knocked on the door. Mike was watching, I think it was Petticoat Junction or Green Acres or something, on the TV. But something very unique happened when I knocked on the door, and he realized he had a visitor. He got up out of his chair. He got up out of his chair, he walked over to the television set, and he turned it off. And then he came over to meet his visitor. And at, at that moment, I realized the St. Coletta brand and the effect the sisters had on him regarding etiquette. And that visitor was always more important than something else. And that you were going to greet them in a respectful way. And, and Mike did. And uh, he's been an absolute joy to come to know and to be around. And he's a sterling example of St. Coletta at 70 years. Congratulations. Last bell of the ball is Joe Bennett Roeder, 75 years. So I got a lot to read here. And I, and I, and I know you're going to have a few things to say, so we'll, we'll, we'll save that here. Joe Bennett Roeder was born in 1934 in the township of Wilmot, Minnesota. What is it? Lismore? Oh. Lismore, Minnesota. Now, something interesting, Joe, came, Joe Bent came from a large family. And uh, unfortunately, his mother passed away when Joe was a teenager, a young teenager. And it had a tremendous impact on the family. In fact, at his mother's service, the family went to live with a bunch of different families. The older 
siblings could be independent and live independently. The younger could go to other homes and stay and be adopted, if you will. But not Joe and his younger sister, who were kind of in the middle. So Joe moved to Wabasha, Minnesota, to the St. Joe's Orphanage, where he and his sister resided for a short time. Uh, in the middle of the 40s. Middle of the 40s. No, I had a farmer over there, and I worked for him. And I was only about 15 years old. Actually. Yeah, young guy. So kind of as in a relationship with the sisters, he, uh, he moved to Jefferson to be part of St. Colette as a teenager. Of course, he had all this farming experience and he, a tremendous work ethic. So he came and was part of the farm program from the very get-go um, because of his skills and things. His sister was served here, later graduated, later moved back and got married. And uh, Joe has been here and made his life at St. Colette ever since. He has lived he has lived at Isidore among many other homes since 1949. Joe Bent sums up best when he says, I've had my hands in everything at St. Coletta. Have you ever wondered how all the farming tasks were done here in the past? Just ask Joe Bent. He did almost every job that needed to be done. He also did many cleaning jobs, including waxing floors. He was a busboy at Sarah House, our hotel located here in Jefferson. And he even was a barber for clients for many years. My dad. His dad was a barber too, but that's not where he learned how to cut hair. I just thought. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you this. And when uh, you said ouch, and you said what's wrong, I said, you said the clipper. I'm doing the job. And the pulling, all the yard too. But you sit here like me. <laughs> I asked Joe Vent where he learned how to cut hair, assuming his father told him. He said, no, no, I just kind of learned on my own. And, and he said, sometimes it wasn't so good. Said, but he could always cut shorter, right? And so we've got some wonderful pictures of Joe Vent cutting hair, and he got very good at it. His barber chair, his, he still has a barber chair in his room at St. Isabel. Joe Vent used to trim all the trees in the St. Coletta Orchard by himself. After punching out for the day, he would grab his clippers and ladder and head for an orchard and work until dark during the winter. Now we had these kids, but when I came in 49, I got out of the building and I seen all them guys on the playground. I said, I many, well, we're going to get some work done. And they'd help us, they'd help us make the branches. They'd drag them. Uh, Joel Vent can tell you everything you need to know about trimming trees in the orchard and, and the variety of apples that are grown there. There's 260 some odd trees, lots of different varieties. And everything that the nuns used to use to make with them, the, the apples. Joel Vent worked full time as a member of our maintenance crew for about 50 years. He could often be seen mowing, snow plowing, trimming trees, and doing garden work. He finally did, decided to retire in 2020 at the age of 86. Tremendous example. If you've ever seen a St. Coletta garden crate, Joe made it. I had a sister for a while before I claimed I quit in 86. So, you know, yeah. all the guys that worked at the greenhouse, they were younger than I was. I was the oldest one there. But you out Everywhere I outlasted. Yeah. They all retired. All I heard was retirement. So, <laughs> I had it in my mind for a long time. I said, she said, well, what are you going to do? I said, give me a stamp to put whatever out and put something in. So then I said, well, I might as well take it. I was 86. I was still mowing. That was, four, I knew that was a few years ago. Four years ago. Joe Venn has always been a hard worker, but, he's also, but he also knows how to have fun. He has been to Europe and especially enjoyed Germany. He has traveled to many different states and had a great time at Disney World in Florida. He loved to camp in the past, up until just a few years ago, 
Joel Vent planted his own vegetable garden every year and enjoyed sharing the produce with others. Joel Vent has helped many friends remodel their homes and has helped them build bars and cabinets, plant trees, and seal windows. He is happiest when he's figuring out how to do something and can repair things. Joel Vent loves to share his knowledge with others and is a good teacher. He's a truly a jack of all trades and still has a workshop in his basement. Now that he's retired, Joe Ben enjoys his tractor, toy tractor collection, listening to polka music, and going to car shows, tractor pulls, and fairs, flea markets, and out to eat with friends. He likes to play solitaire card game and watch the animals outside. He enjoys watching TV sports, the news, and programs where they show how to fix things. Joe Ben also spent almost his entire life working at St. Clet and probably holds the record for having the longest St. Clet of work career. Jovin has a special place in his heart for St. Clet and loves telling people about the history of how things were done here in the past. In many cases, he's the only one that's going to know. And Joe has his own Farmall tractor. It's an H, right? Yeah. It's an H Farmall. Uh, wheel board. It's down in the uh, the building down below his house. So maybe a first in the service of anybody in the state. He <laughs> said. We were at the first one that fired. He's got an all terrain an all terrain vehicle. It's a Polaris, no. right? It, did he earn the money and bought it on his own? Lawnmower tool. And a lawnmower. John Deere. <laughs> Mother Nature's color, you know. I know. <laughs> like green and yellow. How, 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 how come you have an IH tractor? Pardon? Well, I had to get that because they took the L off of it. And the rest of the stuff that I had in my hand. But the best one yet was 75 rolls of potatoes. But they all laid down there. They bought that one now. Depression one. And that elevator, and a two way cloud lined up. And then a potato jiggle was on rubber. And the planter was on steel. Really? That's an old one. Planted. Wow. Yeah. An old and one. I was in the potato digger, you know, stepping down the weed. The level up. Uh, the blade up so I wouldn't cut the potatoes. So I hung on to that one and I stood on that framework. So I had my good shoes on. I didn't want to get them dirty, so Joe gave me his boots. Boot buckles are gone. So I was protected the shoes. But on the nice shaft to the digger, that didn't have that shield on the far table. And the shoes they are doing, it did good. But the rest of the stuff that I had on, I was all wrapped around on the potato day on the floor shaft. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Yeah. No, I didn't. I still I hung on to that. I'm not going with the rest of you. So I had to go down the highway to St. Isidore to get my uh, my pants put back up again. <laughs> <laughs> that was all on there. It's one of the perils of potato digging, and right? All <laughs> riding down the road with the V, going like H, and the wheels on the front of the deer were rattling like that. I never felt out. There the cars are going, but oh, it's just get going. I'm not on Hollywood yet. <laughs> I didn't move. I come back and got along. So. Got your pants back on. And That's some potatoes we got on that way and like that. The L.A. down here pulled that. All the way from the new group on that St. Lawrence. That's, that's just yeah. all potatoes. And that's that's three kinds. But we had to take certain ones that they wanted because we had skin. So the red, the Michigan, and uh, the baking one. I had pet coons too. That was your pet coon? Uh, I had, we chopped the tree down. And the hole was there, but I heard the coon. She ran so I just threw the axe. And well, that landed wherever it landed. And then, the, oh, you can get something. So I had to cut down a little lower. And then there were the coons. Come seven of them. Seven. I tried to get four legs in the gummy sack. 
So they hung on to the stack, they couldn't get them in. <laughs> so I had this big tank. Okay. With, with uh, sawdust, and I gave them corn, lettuce, and carrots. And I had this cement thing with hot wire that you cement on the walls. I tore that out with a pencil. Then they got out. That's what happened. <laughs> this one looks pretty cool. they came. But when they got bigger, then they were a boss, so that I had it all. <laughs> and the guy in the house, he went and got them, you know, and one on senior fighter said, you don't hold wild animals. Well, then he got them, so he got holding them too. So I got screwed all the way on that. That's a pretty cool picture. Pretty young right there. Well, um, I don't know how you top that. <laughs> I'm going to give him the mic here in a minute, but uh, congratulations on your 75 years. We'll give you the mic if you want. here when I was in St. Joe's. They're here yet. I'm surprised I'm still standing. Anyhow, they helped me out when I was pruning trees and stuff that was great help. They lived in St. Joe's when I was there. I gave hair to every, every day of the week with all these, these kids. And I had the little guys and that was the uh, hardest one because they had always moved and my pup wasn't so good. Oh, I said, I'll, I'll take that out. So you just go up a little higher and that's smoothing it out. And I got it all from my dad. Never went to school. I was far as the fourth grade. And I tell you, that classmate wasn't all mine either. Just the two of us in the fourth. So I graduated there and got out. Never went to college or anything. But you watch the person that's working on something tools, machinery, knives, or anything. I shop with all butcher knives, kitchen knives, everything, not a whetstone. Electric, with water in the dish and that stone to go around and go slow. I learned from that. Sharpening circular saws. I watched the guy that I come down to get coffee break and then he was working on it. And a certain way you hold the file to get that tooth right. And if you don't wear the, the back of the tooth out a little lower, then a saw would go crooked, hand saw. I did that too. I never went to school other than that. But when I went to school in, uh, after I came, there was reading, writing, and arithmetic that I had to take. But then I had uh, knitting and all that stuff in that class. On the other class, I had manual training and machine work, sawing, and hammer and nail, painting, leather, everything. And then all that tools that were in the greenhouse, just sitting there, getting all rusty. I worked with all those. So out of my own pocket, I bought all my own stuff. So I could work on the stuff that I've been working with. Because I'm borrowing somebody else's tools, they don't get them back, so you have to give it to them for them back. So I fixed that. So then everybody lifts the place, who you got? Can't prune trees. I'm 89. Your mind says you can still do it, but the body says no, you can't. Bigger numbers are coming, but I gotta face that. I got relatives all over <laughs> Illinois, in Dallas, Arizona. And, and uh, one in Minnesota, yeah, that's David. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's all of that. <laughs> Living history, folks. Um, Thank you. Very special. Thank you for everything today, and congratulations to our recipients. We got your flowers with your picture on them from the hallway, from the hallway uh, for our clients. And uh, 
to close us out, we got Sister Charlotte who's going to share with prayer. This is always such a wonderful party to come to and celebration. So let's give the, all those people who we celebrated again one more hand. Thank you. On the back of the program is the peace prayer. And we have a lot to pray for, for peace in our world today. So let's pray this together. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, and have a safe drive home, and we'll see you sometime soon. Thank you.